Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I've got three soft jaw plier solutions here that I'm going to show you. Now, oftentimes when you grab things, and especially with like Knipex Cobras, they're just notorious for having teeth that dig in and they'll scrape metal and scuff fixtures and, you know, just wreak havoc on softer materials, especially plastics and brass, aluminum. But uh, these are some uh, solutions for grabbing things. Um, with more of a softer touch, but still the performance of a plier. Um, adjustable wrenches like this, you know, if you get into the larger sizes, often have some sort of a, um, a grip on them as well, so they can do some damage. And then plastic pliers like these, those are more for electrical, um, electrical work, but they do have their place in grabbing uh, things with, that you don't want to mar up. But anyway, the first one of these is this, this set of uh, replaceable jaws or replaceable jaw covers that Knipex makes. This is the Knipex 8603 250 plier wrench. And you can buy these in sets of three. So this is the 8609 250 V01 uh, and, or V01. And you, the 250 designates that it's for the 250 size plier wrench. So you can get different sizes. And they're just softer covers. So they're somewhat disposable. Um, they're a little bit harder plastic, so I imagine you could easy, if you crunch down on a, on a sharper point, like if you grabbed something, you know, on the, uh, on the edges of a, uh, um, of something like that, you could damage them pretty easily. But they work great on softer material, um, especially if there's a, a flat side like this, you know, that's, that's ideal right there on this. A uh, little manifold, and you know if you've got something that has a uh, um, kind of a hex or a, a flat flat area, get these adjusted right. Um, you know that's that's superb, excellent, exactly what you want it for. Some things don't have that though; they're smooth, and this isn't the best. It works, but it's not the best for a real smooth surface. It'd be okay out here if it fit but it doesn't. So another solution is this. This is the Knipex 8111 250. It's 250 millimeter long, huge jaw opening, uh, soft jaw inserts. You can see they're getting scuffed up. This is actually a pretty soft multi-component material, but I could easily grab a smooth surface like that and hang on to it with hopefully out without damaging it or scuffing it at all. Um, and then if I needed to grab something larger like that, crack these open, um, and I could easily grab in on the edges there. You can see they are pretty squishy. You can see that. So those are a good solution there. The last one here um, is this. It's uh, the Soft Touch uh, IPS plier. This is the PH165. It's basically a modified slip joint plier with plastic inserts, but it also has um, a couple of different shapes, and I'll show you those. This particular thing wasn't very expensive. Um, it's got, you know, dipped handles, uh, black painted um, edges, or black painted blades there, made in Japan. But on this guy here, it's pretty fast, works very much just like a, a regular slip joint plier, so it has all of that built in, plus the soft jaws. So it actually is a, a pretty decent little plier for, for quicker jobs, nice and handy, if you don't want to invest in a bigger, bigger one there. Um, it does have limitations, though, in size. I can probably get this. That might be about it in size. It looks like maybe a little over an inch. Um, but if I'm trying to grab something, however, it does uh, easily grab all sorts of different shapes, including, uh, like, if I've got some aluminum... Um, parts, a lot of mountain bikes, road bikes have aluminum parts you want to grab, but you don't want to risk scratching or scruffing them or even carbon fiber. So I can grab that. And if I've got something on the small side, um, I can go right in just like a screw extraction plier and hold it. And in fact, that's very much what it's like. In fact, I bet it would work just fine as a screw, a soft screw extraction plier, if you could get enough purchase on the screw. Um, Many times you might need more than one. So on this, this little fixture, if it's really wedged in, I may need to grab it here 
and then grab it with another pair of pliers, say here. Um, these are really handy for using any kind of coupling where it's just knurled like that. These are easy to get stuck on or corroded, something like that, to be able to grab it, you know, and then, you know, unscrew or more than likely tighten things up. Um, work very well that way. These are held on by a screw, so I'll go ahead and pull that out and show you what one of these looks like. This plier doesn't have a whole lot of use probably without these. I mean, you can see the jaw isn't gonna have a lot of, a lot of grabbing, but it will. So I could pop those off and have kind of a funny shaped Knipex plier there. This guy here, uh, if I take off the screws, they're on the inside. I basically have a rather unique shaped um, you can see that there, kind of unique shaped slip joint plier. And those, of course, just slide right on and off. Um, this particular one, uh, so far, has been my favorite, except these are pretty dang soft. And that means that under, uh, under any kind of real load condition, might be on backwards, I don't know. It's directional. It doesn't look like it, but I've already scuffed it in one particular direction. Yeah, that fit right on. So these are, are pretty, uh, pretty soft material here. And I'll show you. If I squeeze them down, you can see how much that, that actually compresses. And I have found if you're trying to grab something round um, that uh, I can still get it to slip. It, it's good for some things, you know, maybe if I have to twist that, if there's a little purchase um, or on something like this. But if things are really tight, I found this does start to slip a little. I'd rather have it that way though. I'd rather have it on the softer side than on the harder side. And like a lot of plumbing fixtures, things like that, eventually, uh, if they're really stuck, you sacrifice them, even to the point of cutting them off. And I've gone in and had to cut along the threads to get something out. But overall, these are three good solutions. Put links below. Um, they are, um, all of them I got off of Amazon. I've had trouble getting these, um, I've, especially in different sizes. I know they exist, um, but I don't have them. And then this one just took a while to get to me. I think it was actually sent from Japan. Um, but overall, if I had to have one, I really like these. I find myself grabbing them all the time for different things, almost whether I need it or not. If for bathroom fixtures especially, it's just nice to be able to grab something without really scuffing the, the, the uh, things up. Um, these are often a little big for you know some of the confined under sink work that's why i'm really trying to find the smaller ones to fit on my smaller plier wrenches and i'll hopefully have those in the near future but anyway so there's three soft solutions for grabbing soft fixtures and with that doc out